What's up guys? Welcome back to the F12 and today is an absolutely monumental day. So about three weeks ago McLaren very kindly invited me out to Tenerife to drive their new 570 GT. It was a fantastic event but the day after that they threw me the keys to their 675 LT Spider, which transpired to be one of the best cars that I've ever driven. If you've seen that clip, you'll know exactly what I mean. What on earth? What? I'm experiencing something otherworldly here, guys. Whoa! Absolutely insane! I just need a minute, I just need a moment. Ever since then, I've been saying to friends, it's the worst thing I've ever done because it, it was the best car that I've experienced in such a long time and every other car I've jumped in, I've been comparing it to the LT. Ever since I got back from driving the LT, I've spoken with McLaren, I've spoken with dealers, I've been crawling through classifieds, trying my best to get hold of an LT. Now, the problem is, They've only made 500 of these cars worldwide. I believe there's around 40 of them in the UK. So needless to say, these cars are pretty rare. And then something monumental happened and Top Gear featured the LT. It was the fastest car around their track. Jensen Button said he couldn't get one, even though I'm pretty sure he could do. And funnily enough, the following week, I know of three people who bought an LT in that week. So prices and premiums right now on the LTs have just gone mad. We're talking like a hundred grand over list, which is insane. So I pretty much gave up. As a rule, I generally don't pay over the odds for cars, but this car affected me in the heart. You know, it was, it was a totally different thing. And incredibly, I found an LT at the right price at exactly the right time just before Top Gear went out and just before the market went ape. So, yeah, I only went and bought one. <laughs> and today is the day that we're driving down to collect that car. I'd still, I can't believe these words are coming out of my mouth. It's been a very short three week turnaround from test driving it in Tenerife to being back here. It's just been mad and since being back I've been so flat out that I actually haven't been able to take it on board yet and today is the day. So we're driving to Alistair Bowles. He is based in Essex and he is a McLaren specialist. Let's check it out. All right guys we have just arrived at Alistair Bowles. We have yet to see this car but he's bringing it around for me now and I've just heard it start up. Super, super excited. Uh, any minute now, it's gonna be coming through these gates here. So let's wait for it and see what's what. A little bit speechless, actually. Oh, that's good to hear. <laughs> it is, yeah. You know, just being in this thing, it's such an event stepping into it. You've got this wide sill and this bucket seat. You sort of, rather than getting in it, you sort of sink into it and it shrinks around you and it almost feels like it's been molded to me. It's such a special cabin. Wow. Unreal. All right, so I think now Alice is going to show me how all of this car works. 
I've only spent a small amount of time with these cars, so as far as dashboards go and interfaces go so far, it's all completely uh, fresh, so yeah. Okay, we're finally in the car and we're here with Alistair from Alistair Bowles. Delighted we're here at the day we can hand you over the car. As you know, it's been one week. We came yeah. down last week yeah. and now it's here. It's, uh, it's all happened so fast and to be honest, I'm still taking it all on board. And, and no doubt you're about to show me some things that despite you showing me, I'll probably go in with one ear out the yeah. other. And everyone, <laughs> everyone kind of goes, oh, I know where the steering wheel is and everything yeah. else, but sure. yeah, the LT's got a lot to it. Yes. Um, just a few tricks that you should know, you know okay. uh, how to use and get sure. the best from the car. All right. Your key's here. Yep. That's the pebble, as it's called. Okay, cool. So it's just a proximity key. So without your foot on the brake, yep. you can get the electrics to come up. You got ignition one cool. and then ignition two. Great. So everything's now on. You can switch between manual and automatic mm -hmm. on the powertrain. Powertrain is your throttle and your gearbox chain mm -hmm. speeds okay. and handling is the suspension and the traction control systems. Okay. So you can have any mixture of normal, sport and track and the dashboard is just warning us that you need the engine running mm -hmm. to have the uh, sure. chassis control on. Okay. The main ones is your traction control system, mm -hmm. stability control is there. Okay. Aero, at the moment yep. the air brake is up. Yep. Okay. There's the long term air brake. Sticking airbrake. out there. Can't miss that, can you? No. Nope. And okay. um, the aero mode gives you a lot more uh, rear end downforce when yep. you're on track and okay. you know, on a hill climb or something. Sure. Uh, in the Alps, you've got a lot more rear downforce. Nice. And then also, when you're in uh, track mode mm -hmm. and so forth, you'll have a bit more active control, or the car will be a bit more active on the air brake okay. coming up. But as you're cresting a brow, it will yes. give you a bit more downforce again. Great stuff. Okay. Um, cool. Iris uh, infotainment system. Uh huh. You've got various touchscreen systems. You've got apps. So using your Wi-Fi at yep. home, you can uh, search your maps. Mm -hmm. It's not going to work today. There's no Wi-Fi sure. about it. Yeah. But uh, you can go into browsers and so on. Right. This is a new track telemetry system. Yeah. And the car you've got has the three track camera pack as well. Yeah, so, so, so that includes this one up here. Central, filming yeah. what you're up to. Amazing, you're and there's one point. at the back, one at and the also back, one on the bumper at the front, front. front right? Okay. Yeah. So you can go Amazing. into there and mm -hmm. um, use all the cars on built onboard uh, mm -hmm. track telemetry. You can start a track day, and just to show you, I know we're static at the moment, but just yeah. to show you what it would be like, this is what you'll I be mean, seeing. I mean, that's amazing. <laughs> so good. Brilliant. Just finish, and then you just return to your home screen. Mm -hmm. And this little button here mm -hmm. is designed as the uh, bird's eye view of the MTC, the Technology Center, nice Yin touch. Yang design uh, yeah. building. Ah, it's live! It's alive. 102 miles is going on it right now. 102.7. Um, yeah, so there's, there's still, I think, 600. to go on a familiarization test drive. Yeah, sure thing. We'll uh, go up and down the road, make okay. sure you're happy with all the controls. Yeah. Ideal. Any okay. questions, we'll make sure you've got some uh, more fuel. Perfect. And then you can get on the way. All right, Enjoy first drive. Let's do it. I'm instinctively, I'm straight on to yeah. manual. <laughs> and in this particular mode, yeah. now you're in manual That's just on the paddles, and it'll stay just on the paddles. Okay. If okay. you're in auto and you're overriding with the paddles, Yes. Revert back after about three or four seconds. Sure. Cool. Yeah. It's just an uh, effortless talk. Yeah. The talk on this is is madness. I mean, the F12 has some talk, but this is like thick with it, you know. Yeah. And it comes in from about yeah. two and a half thousand RPM. Yeah. All the way, all Magic. the way to eight, eight and a half, <laughs> and from six thousand RPM onwards. Yeah. You get what they used to call coming on cam. Yes. So you just get that extra fun. My experience in Tenerife is starting to come back to me now. Just that steering weight, that sound, that torque. It's, um, yeah, I can't wait to it's bed it in. I'm obviously aware that when I drove that car, tarmac temperature was like 30 degrees. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, with this kind of uh, poke and torque, I think we're going to have to 
take it steady for some time until we actually get the summer. That's right. <laughs> Very short drive in the LT. Alice has been going through a few controls and features. I'm still taking it on board, guys. It's absolutely like mad. You know, it's just a different experience. Everything's still so new. But we're now at a petrol station, and Alistair has very kindly offered to fill up the tank for me before I head off back home. I've just driven off in a new 675 LT. Guys, what is going on, man? Is this actually happening? It's a funny day. It's these days, I mean, as incredible as they are, they're actually quite hard to film because on the one hand, you want to completely absorb the moment. You want to take on board all of the details. This car as well, honestly, it's so advanced. There's more features than a new S-Class on this thing. It's just nuts. And then on the other hand, I'm trying to do a good job of filming it. So new car collection days are never ideal from a filming point of view. They're a little bit point and shoot, rough and ready, but you know, as I always say, it's always about taking you guys along for the ride. And here we are. We're in a new 675 LT. What is happening? So this is a 2016 car. I believe it was a March build. And when we just picked it up and drove it off there, it had just over a hundred miles on it. So it is not run in yet. It is basically brand spanking new. Uh, it's still got stickers on it. I mean, the uh, sat nav screen here has like a sticky protector film on it. You get in it and it still smells so new but it's got a unique smell to it. It has the Alcantara smell. Um, it's just a weapon, absolute weapon. The steering rack as well is so, it's so quick. I don't know where to start with it all. <laughs> so what's happening now is I have to run the car in. We've got 600 miles before we can really boot it. Uh, I do have quite a long journey home, which is amazing as far as I'm concerned. I would drive to Scotland right now to turn around and do it all over again. Um, yeah, because we're in the new car. <laughs> it's mad. If any of you guys have been following the journey, uh, which to be fair is only about three weeks old, but my first experience in an LT was in Tenerife about three weeks ago. Since then, I haven't been able to get it off my mind. 
you guys know that if you if you follow me on uh, social media, if you follow me on uh, YouTube, the comments and the engagement with you guys has been hilarious. I've had to bite my tongue because there was moments where I wasn't sure this car was going to happen or not. It's been in and out. Prices on these things have been stupid, but we finally found one which is just an amazing example at a reasonable price. And we're here, and now we have many adventures, many videos to come. I want to immerse you guys in the reason that I bought this car. It's just, just listen to it. <laughs> and we're going so steady. Oh man, I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know how I'm going to take it so steady for 600 miles, but it has to be done. Running period is super important. So what's going to happen from here is, once the car is ran in, and I'm going to try my best to do this within the first few days, we're going to do a proper first drive video. Well, it's going to be filmed properly. It's going to be beautiful. We have tracking shots. It's going to go off. So yeah, I'm going to get these miles out of the way, and then we're really going to immerse you in what this car is all about. I've only driven one really on the hot asphalt of Tenerife up the side of a volcano which obviously isn't you know reality as absolutely incredible as it was but now we're in England we're back in home turf and let's see what this car is all about living with it in the UK where the roads are pretty atrocious um, but it's our playground it's our it's our backyard for driving we'll take it out to some great driving roads let's just let's just sap it up man Lots of adventures planned. I'm also going to be taking this car to the Goodwood Festival of Speed next weekend as well. So, yeah, I'm not entirely sure where it'll be parked yet. It'll either be in the uh, supercar parking at the uh, uh, top field, or if we can arrange something with McLaren, it'll be somewhere nice that, uh, yeah, hopefully, come and check it out. If you're going to the Festival of Speed, let me know, man. So, long drive home. Not long enough, it's only three hours. <laughs> and I just want to um, take it on board. Alistair Bowles as well. That guy, you know, I've been to some car dealers, I've met a lot of people in the industry. Such a nice guy, so passionate about McLaren as a brand and just supercars as an overall lifestyle thing. And I can honestly not say a big enough thank you to that guy. He's been so helpful you know throughout the whole thing and it was such a fast turnaround we you know agreed the deal sort of late last week and now I'm in it now we're sat here filming away introducing you guys to the, this car here we are so guys that 675 LT that we've all been going crazy about we're in one and I'm taking you along for the ride <laughs> let's do it Thanks for watching guys, don't forget there's going to be a proper full on first drive video with this car coming soon. Until then, plenty of pictures on Instagram and uh, yeah I'll try and get that video out as soon as possible and then we've just got adventure after adventure lined up with it. I can't wait. As always, thank you for your support and thank you so much for watching. This, we just turned life up to 11 guys, catch you next time, ciao!